day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to talk on some area of specialization in make costuming and makeup. Also, I'll be talking about the background study. I'll talk about the facial anatomy and the types of shapes, the face shapes that we have. Okay, first of all, let me go into specialization. When you talk about specialization, this has to do with what the area that's your specialization in the aspect of makeup based on character makeup. When we look into the character makeups that we have, we have that of the beauty makeup, we have that of the uh, special effect, and we have that of prosthetics. When you talk about these three forms of makeup, it is always advisable for you to understudy the three types of makeup. And also bear in mind that you, have, you need to have a little bit knowledge about chemistry when going into prosthetics. When you look into these three character makeups I've actually mentioned earlier, you, you have to what, understudy the three types, okay? Then you now pick out one, the one you feel comfortable with, if it's beauty makeup, if it's special effect makeup and prosthetics. When you talk about the beauty makeup, it has to do with our normal everyday makeup and this can actually pass out for either a straight makeup or a character makeup. Special effect has to do with bones, has to do with um, sh shrink face, back up, changing someone's face entirely. And, when, and all that, even wounds on the body. Then when it talks about prosthetics, it has to do with wearing that of, um, of, 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 of like, a, like a form of max, but it's not fully a max, okay? Prosthetic, um, prosthetic also looks like that of the special effect makeup, but they are of different types, all right? So the major ones we'll be talking about today, um, that we'll be actually particularizing today is that of the special effects makeup. So now let's move into the background study. It's always advisable for you to have a background knowledge of the kind of um, um, person's face that you're working with in the aspect of makeup. Also, you have to look at the shapes and the shapes and sizes of the face. When we talk about the shapes of the faces, we have seven in number. We have that of the oval face, we have the round face, we have the long face, we have the square face, we have the um, pear heart shape, and we also have the rectangular shape. When you look into the seven types of um, types of shapes that we've listed below, it helps you to it, it helps to redefine the kind of makeup that will be, that you can work on that particular person. Also, when looking into these forms of makeup while trying to apply on the person's face, another very important instrument that you can use in the aspect of makeup is the, is the aspect of lighting. Light is very very important because it helps to give um, helps you to be able to work with the face and also it helps to bring out the different angular shapes that you use to what to make up for whoever you for, for the um, for the model you're making up for so light is a major factor and also a scenic design that actually helps to bring out the aesthetic value of that particular makeup you're working on and so without the use of light there is no way you can get or rather be able to work with the face you're working that's the, the face of the model you're working on and so light plays a very important role in the aspect of makeup so here today we'll be working on um, special effects makeup and I'll be um, um, working on uh, what they calling it like a kind of injury on the face so please watch and stay tuned thank you so you need to always wash up Okay, the next thing I'll be doing is the scar makeup. I'll be, making, I'll, I'll be um, giving him a, um, a, um, a scar on the, on the forehead, okay? So before I go further, I have to use the primer first.
So what you do is to blend these two colors in. You blend it. The reason why you make use of black, you put black in the you know, inside the cut is because it helps to, um, to, 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 to create a very special effect. Create a very a special effect on, on the blood you'll be adding to it. That's why it's always important to put the blood, the black pencil in the middle. It. So you dab the blood. You dab, dab the coat. Thanks for watching this. Um, actually, most of you will be wondering, okay, how this, how can you get your wax? As in, how can you make your own personal wax? Wax is very expensive in the market. You have different kind of questions bothering you, consigning on or consigning um, the wax thing. Okay, the, my advice to you is that we have different ways in which you can make wax, and one of the ways is when you have when you get a floor in the house, you sieve it, then you remove the shaft. Then the sieved floor is what you mix with Vaseline. You keep mixing until it gets um, thick. That is something you can roll like a kind of ball. So. If, if once it's up to that stage then you should know that then within you already know that your your wax has been made all right so you can use that actually secondly you can also make use of tissue and you can also make use of cutting wool instead of using that of the of, of, of wax you can just roll your cutting wool like this then you use your top bond you you um, where i actually had outlined you just add your top bond there then you put in your your tissue paper and your cutting wool across each other and through that you've gotten your your your, your cut okay it's not for you to use wax totally but wax is also very very advisable and secondly the reason why we make use of floor and um vaseline together is because these are things that even on the norms like even when it gets into the mouth is not harmful so it's always advisable to use something that is not harmful for your special effect makeup and also the use of blood. How do you get your blood? You, you buy, uh, uh, you get um, the the materials for the blood is um, coloring. That is this this very thick red coloring for cake. Then you also buy starch. That's this powder starch, the blue one. Then you also get um, honey. When you mix the three together, it brings out a very thick blood. Okay, so through that you can use that for your special effect makeup and it looks real and it lasts longer. But make sure that when you're adding your starch is something you can use within a week or two weeks. Okay, thank you very much.